just hit it. Okay, let me see. Waiting. Waiting, waiting, waiting. And we're live. Okay. Oops. We are good. <laughs> Wait a minute. I just, Kiai, I meant to send you a text and I sent it to my dad. Wait, let me copy this and send it to Kiai. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. My dad doesn't need to know that. Okay. Must be wondering, like, what's going on? I know. My dad's going to just be wondering, what the, huh? Um, hi, everybody. Welcome to our Monday night chat. My name is Lisa Robertson, and I guess you probably know that if you're on my Facebook page. Um, kind of confusing otherwise, huh? What are you gonna do? The voice that you hear in the background um, is not actually me. I'm not a ventriloquist. That is David Markstein, who uh, hi everyone. works with us. Uh, David's been um, in the jewelry industry literally for decades. He is one of the most, um, he knows more about jewelry than um, most people have forgotten, just to let you know. He, I mean, literally in his career, you can literally take a piece of jewelry and show it to him and go, who made that? And he'll go, this factory, that factory, this country, that country. Um, and David has been working with us for a number of years. He is um, the voice that you hear on the chats. He's on my phone, on speakerphone right near you. And that way he can help us out with all the beautiful jewelry that we have this week. And he's also there to kind of pass on some of the comments that you're making throughout the chat because I know there's always a lot going on. Um, Katie and Kiai are at home answering Facebook, so when you see Facebook responses being typed in, that'll be Katie and Kiai, and of course, I'm at the house. So Monday nights are always uh, a preview of what's coming up in the week. It's not every detail of everything, but it's a preview of so many of the beautiful, amazing, wonderful things that are coming up within the week. And because we have boutiques every day at noon Eastern time, and then Monday through Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern time, it's always a good idea to see what's coming up so that you can make sure and keep your eye out for things you really want, because some things go really, really quickly. Now, how do you know what's coming up before it gets there? Sign up for the email. I'll show you that, um, how to do that, because I have my phone free tonight. I have you on one work phone. I have David on the other work phone. I got my phone free. All right, so, so many things to talk about. So little time. It's very funny. I think my dad's gonna wonder what in the world's going on on that one. Um, my dad's supposed to be coming tomorrow for a visit, so I'm very excited. I haven't seen him in almost a year and a half. So that is way too long, I have to say, way too long. So definitely looking forward to seeing my dad tomorrow. That'll be good. Um, so this week we have so many beautiful things for you. Um, just an amazing, amazing assortment, beautiful jewelry, beautiful apparel, beautiful home. One of the things that I have to start out with because it's very, very important is this ring. This ring is an advance order. It's one of the most beautiful pieces I've ever seen. Isn't that stunning? It really is. Oh, and this has been very, very popular, but I'm starting out with it because this advance order is going away right after the chat, right, David? It is going away, um, and it's been very popular, and I think it's because you have this gorgeous, gorgeous Zambian emerald, and to have an emerald that size is pretty amazing, that, that carat weight. And then the white zircon surrounding that, it looks, I mean, I'm sorry, the diamonds around that looks so beautiful. It actually is genuine diamonds around right. it. It is 14 karat gold. It is just a work of art. It's beautiful. Um, we went all out on this and um, they're loving it. Yeah, I love this piece. I have to say last night we did a cooking chat um, for the first time in a long time. Oh, hi, Kathy. I caught Kathy's name going by. Um, and a number of people were talking about this ring and that they'd ordered it and they couldn't believe how beautiful it was. I mean, it's just stunning. One of the things I want to let you know is this is a natural emerald. That means that when you, if you loop it, if you look at it really, really closely, you're going to see some inclusions in it that is inherent to an emerald. It's called the Jardin or the fingerprint of the stone. What decides an emerald's value is not that it is clean because they're not. It's the saturation, it's the consistency, it's the size, it's the cutting, it's whether or not the flaws are black or not or how many of them. This has 
a very low level of inclusions for an emerald. It's a very high quality stone. It's beautifully done. And we don't do a lot of things with an emerald surrounded by diamonds set in 14 karat gold. So this is unusual for us, but we're very excited about it. And I know that you are too. So I just want you to see up close and personal. Isn't that gorgeous? It is almost two carats of Zambian emerald. Oh. Half a carat of full cut brilliant diamonds that are GH in color, SI in clarity, SI1 in clarity, um, 40 individual diamonds and four and a half grams of 14 karat white gold. It is just stunning. You know what, this this would go so beautifully with that two carat diamond um, pendant we had recently. Yes, it would. Actually. That would that be, is on the page. that'd be the major one too punch right there. <laughs> just in case. Uh, so I love this ring. I know you love this ring. David loves this ring. We all love this ring. And that is an advance order that is going away right after the chat. So I just wanted to make sure that you got to see it and enjoy it because it's beautiful. Oh my and as, gosh. And as Joellen just reminded me, it is May's birthstone coming up. That's true. It is May's birthstone and that's perfect. Hi, Lynn. Just saw Lynn's name there. <laughs> I can't read much. I can read a few. <laughs> My eyes are so bad. Um, so that ring, wanted to start out with that because it's going away right after the chat. And I think it's absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Now, also at noon today, we had these beautiful earrings from Blue Oro. I love these. I love that they are a longer oval, but they're not an actual oval. They're kind of almost a little bit squared and they just had this beautiful unique shape we started out with different colors we only have a few remaining in the yellow so if you want these grab them in the yellow that's the only color we have left and they are gorgeous i mean look at that on that's an amazing amazing and the popularity behind this is that it is not a perfect oval like a bowl yeah. but it kind of has a different shape than just a plain oval it's almost like you took a tv shape in a square and you made it into an oval. It's just very, it's a beautiful fusion of shapes. And I it love that. Very flattering. Yeah. So these are only yellow. That is the only color we have remaining in these and they're absolutely beautiful. Hi, Jenny. I just saw Jenny's name go by. Um, so I wanna make sure that you saw those. Now, here's what else started at noon and oh my gosh, has this been popular? Well, wait for it. Hold on. This is 168 carats of natural gems. Holy Toledo. So David, how, how, there's so many gems in this, I can't even begin, but why don't you <laughs> give us a list and I'll point to them. Pretty amazing. Yeah. Uh, I mean, 31 carats of rose calcite Right, right uh, there. Over eight, over eight carats of blue topaz. Right there. 17 carats of smoky quartz. Right here. 21 carats of limone quartz. Uh, right up here. Uh, eight carats of garnet. Right over here. Uh, amethyst, 15 carats of amethyst. Right here. And a little bit of four carats of peridot. Right there. <laughs> And it keeps going. Whiskey quartz is in there. And yeah, here's the whiskey some... quartz. And then there's this beautiful kind of aqua chalcedony. Yep, aqua chalcedony and green amethyst. And here's the green amethyst. And I think we got them all. Wow. So this is 168 carats of gems going all the way around your neck. How amazing is that? And this is one that is a longer length. So, you know, one of the things I was experimenting with when we were taking pictures was doubling it and it actually worked really well um, to double it so just to let you know that's a possibility as well but even just wearing it long how gorgeous is that 168 carats of natural gemstone what? And it's not like they're randomly placed it might look that but they are really strategically placed the color combination is gorgeous as it goes around the shapes are interesting it's just not your standard necklace and that you know it's not the same gemstone going around it's yeah. very special it's a beautiful, beautiful piece. I absolutely love it. And it's one of those necklaces that you're not gonna see coming and going. You're not gonna see it on everyone. It's not gonna be in every store. It's not that everybody everywhere necklace. And I think that's what a lot of us want. You know, we 
We want a piece of jewelry that stands out. We want something that makes people say, wow, where'd you get that? Well, that's what they're gonna say about this. And when they say, oh my gosh, I love your necklace, you're gonna say, thank you. It's 168 carats of gems. Love that. Um, so this has been very, very popular. This started at noon today. Oh my gosh, is it beautiful. And I've just, I've never seen so many gorgeous gems, so many beautiful shapes, so many beautiful colors, so wearable, absolutely, absolutely stunning. So I want to remind you of that because that started at noon today as well. Coming up at 8 p.m., we have three absolutely beautiful things for you. And if I um, get my work done in time, I'll remind you of this toward the end of the chat. But one of the things is this beautiful wrap sweater that I'm wearing. We actually have this in two colors. Wait for it. Oh, I didn't, I didn't tie either of these. Wait. So we have this in either the gray, which is a beautiful soft gray, or this beautiful, beautiful soft kind of it's almost a hint of blush, hint very neutral, very pretty, two gorgeous colors. It's not a real wrap because it's attached here at the seam. That means it's always gonna sit right. Don't you love that? But then you tie it over here on the side because the tie from this side, there you go, goes around the back. Gorgeous. Um, love that one. I just think that is such a pretty sweater, really flattering. And it ties so it works for everybody, which makes it really, really easy. Just a beautiful, beautiful sweater. I was putting with one of the camisoles that we um, have carried a number of times. I think it's a great camisole, but there's a lot of different tops that you can wear it with and it's gonna be gorgeous. So those are coming up at 8 p.m. tonight. But guess what else is coming up at 8 p.m. tonight? Oh my gosh. So this, is a ring, duh. And these are earrings and they're all done. I'm backwards, so I'm doing it wrong, sorry. These are all done um, in the yellow and black with fancy yellow diamonds. How beautiful are these earrings? Aren't they gorgeous? How beautiful is that ring? And David, Fancy yellow diamonds means these are natural diamonds that are a soft yellow. They're not actually treated to make them yellow, right? They're actually natural, and depending on how the light hits them, you will see yellowish, um, sometimes clear white, but I mean, it's really a subtle difference, but it's a beautiful combination. I think this is one of the most stunning designs in a ring. I think it's so special. I've never seen anything like this. I love the combination of the yellow um, the 18 karat over yellow versus the black rhodium in the background set against those fancy yellow diamonds. It's a beautiful combination. And one of the things I love about it is that it's really not in your way. It's just close to the finger, really, really pretty. It's the shield design. It has this kind of beautiful, rustic, ancient feel to it, but yet it's so fresh and new at the same time. Here again is the ring. Here's the earrings. Absolutely beautiful, both combinations, absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. And, and these, them, oh, go ahead. Have a carrot, have a carrot of, of fancy yellow diamonds, a carrot. Oh, wow. So these are also coming up at um, 8 p.m. tonight. So tonight's gonna be the, the wrap sweater in two different colors. And then this beautiful, beautiful ring and the earrings, fancy yellow diamonds, every step done by hand, natural diamonds on this one. So gorgeous, so gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. So that, isn't that stunning, is um, coming up at 8 p.m. tonight, but I love that. And I love that we're able to really, you know, we like to offer you a lot of different things. Um, so we're gonna offer you some things that are gonna be more investment, some things that are gonna be more affordable, all absolutely beautiful so you get to choose exactly what you want but those are amazing wait get my paper look out so i don't forget okay uh, i have to have paper i'm telling you i can't 
I cannot remember it. There's absolutely no way I can remember everything. I'm gonna put that right there. Okay, who loves gemstones? Wait for this one, because this is amazing. That cross is so beautiful. And so, look, the stone setting on that is unbelievable. Unbelievable. So David, what are the different stones in this beautiful, beautiful cross? So this is really amazing. Uh, there's Brazilian neon apatite in there. Uh, there is, that's almost half carat of Brazilian neon apatite. There's a carat of pink and blue um, oh. sapphire gemstones. By the way, here's the appetite. Here's the pink and blue sapphires. And, and then, then there is, oh, sorry. And then turquoise in the center, the Kingman turquoise, right? It's the Kingman turquoise. And for those who don't know, that is an American turquoise, beautifully made, one of the most um, well recognized uh, turquoise uh, stones uh, made by King, the Kingman mine. And it's absolutely gorgeous. And then you have um, some uh, uh, white zircons mixed in there so it's just the beautiful combination of this i think it's like a work of art lisa i, do I was too. just like this the artist who made this had like a canvas and mm -hmm. they decided how they wanted to paint only instead of painting they used a micropave finish right it almost reminds me it's so beautifully set it almost reminds me of sand art you know it's so fine because they just put those stones so close together it's so it. yeah it's just beautiful so fine so beautifully done and when you i'm just gonna put my hand behind it so you can see it against skin tone isn't that beautiful just oh my gosh absolutely marion said, Mary said one of the most beautiful color combinations that i have seen in a long time i agree oh look i can read a few barbara said love that <laughs> oh, beautiful beautiful so i love this cross i just think it's again i love that we're finding you really beautiful different things um by the way somebody barbara was asking what the difference is between kingman turquoise and sleeping beauty turquoise and they're both um domestic right and it's, it's specifically the mine that it comes out of that's correct it's mm -hmm. simply the mine i mean there, from a from a visual standpoint there is no difference you will not right. see any I mean, and I'm sure that Barbara's asking because she's going, hey, that looks like Sleeping Beauty turquoise because it is that color, which is absolutely stunning. Um, but it came out of the Kingman mine. So just, yeah. Gorgeous. Really, am well, they're loving it. I think I, well, I do too. Everybody loves that one. I Barbara so. said, beautiful, like love it. And you know, I love, um, again, when David and I worked at QVC for many years, we really focused on um, the Italian jewelry, which I love. And we continue to do a lot of the beautiful Italian jewelry here because we love it so much. But I feel like we've really branched out in the last year and are finding so many beautiful, unusual, different things that I love that I feel like we have something for everyone. You know, we have gemstones, we have beautiful metals, we have diamonds, we have things that are more subtle, we have things that are more wow, we, you know, just a little bit of, little bit of everything. So there's definitely going to be something for everyone with the jewelry in the week, not even a question. Oh, speaking of which, wait for it. How gorgeous is that ring? So this ring is ruby and kyanite. Isn't that gorgeous? And the colors on this, David, are gorgeous. You talk about saturation of gemstones. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this. I mean, look at that center ruby um, and the combination of that next to the blue kyanite. And that's a really, really good quality kyanite. Kyanite, if anybody doesn't know, it's, 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 a, it's a stone that is similar to that of a sapphire, has a little bit of different color, but it just takes on a life of its own. And it's, it's so saturated in this case. And I love the white zircon around the stone. It's just a very beautiful ring. And this is a special find for us, meaning that we were able to get a really great deal on this and we pass it on to you mm -hmm. um, because we can. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Alma loves it. I saw her comment going by um, a little while ago. Um, Cheryl said that she, Cheryl said it's so pretty. 
Um, Barbara said so many rings that she, I know it's hard to decide, right? We have so many beautiful rings, but I love this one. I think the Kyanite really is a specifically beautiful color of blue. It has a hint of purple, but it's not as purple as an Iolite and it has a lot more fire to it. There's a lot more fire in a Kyanite. And so it's a ring that because of the Kyanite just has such a beautiful high-end look. And Kyanite is something that Dave and I have been seeing um, in a lot of really, really high-end pieces. So I love that we can bring it to you. I love that we can put it with that ruby. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It's just beautiful. It has some nice height to it, but the color combination is stunning. And I think that the, the contrast of the two colors together is so beautiful. Yeah, Janice just says in big capital letters, I absolutely love, love, love that ring. Uh, <laughs> It is very popular. People are loving it because it's special. It's different. Yeah. It's not the type of ring you'd see anywhere walking around. Mm -mm. It's a very special find for us. And so if you're sitting at home saying, oh my gosh, I don't know who she is, but she has some great jewelry coming up. How do I know when that's going to be coming up? Right? Because I know some of you are saying that because I see some of you helping. That's so nice. Um, letting people know and like, oh, where can I buy that? Um, so tonight's a preview. Um, most of the, the emerald ring is available right now. That's an advanced order that goes away after the show. The, the larger kind of not quite oval hoop earrings in yellow, those are available right now, almost gone. Um, this beautiful 168 karat gemstone necklace available right now because that started at noon. Everything else that you're seeing this evening is a preview of what's coming up this week. And if you're wondering how to find it, hold on. I'm going to show you. You beat me to it. I was going to tell you. To you go to lisarobertson.com, right? And every day at noon Eastern and in the evenings at 8 p.m. Monday through Thursday, there's a brand new boutique. You just hit the shop button. Come on. Why doesn't it load when it's not looking at me? And it takes you right to the shopping page. And you can see hundreds of things that you can shop for all the time. But if you want to know what's coming up, before it comes up, the best way is to subscribe to our email. You can go down to the bottom of the home page and subscribe right there, super easy. Also, if when you hit the shop tab, in most cases, if you aren't already subscribed to our email, there'll be a pop-up that says, you know, would you like to subscribe to our email? And the reason that's important is this. Every time there's a boutique, there is an email. So at noon Eastern time every day, you don't have to remember, oh, I can go shopping now. Boom, there's gonna be an email in your inbox and it's gonna say, you know, today's treasures and you're gonna go, oh my gosh, I can shop right now. And you can see what to shop for and you can go to the email and click and go directly to the shopping page. If you want, you don't need the email, go directly to the shopping page. But the email is important because 8 p.m. every night, an email comes out. If there's a boutique, it's gonna say, hey, it's the 8 p.m. boutique, here's what you can shop for now. And then at the end is a link to the preview blog. And let me show you what that looks like. So yesterday's preview blog, for example, or you can go to the little hamburger over here on the shopping and hit coming soon. That always takes you to the preview blog. Uh, but you can see coming soon. Here's the preview blog for tomorrow. And you're going, but I want to see what else is coming up tomorrow. Read more. Ooh, look at everything coming. Here's what's coming up at noon tomorrow. Here's what's coming up at 8 p.m. PM tomorrow. Ooh, look at videos and information and pick, right? That's the preview blog. That's some good stuff. And the 8 p.m. email every evening is either only a preview of what's coming up the next day, if there's no boutique, or it's a boutique, and then after that, a link to the preview blog for what's coming up the next day. That means that hypothetically speaking, if I were looking at that beautiful, beautiful cross, let's just take this for example. You're going, oh my gosh, I have to have that cross. I can't miss it. I know it's gonna be popular. If I look at the preview blog tonight, I know this cross is coming up at noon Eastern time tomorrow. I set my alarm on my phone for 11.55 a.m. Eastern time. <laughs> and when that alarm goes off, I know that I'm ready. And at noon, I go to the shopping page. Now, one of the things I'll tell you is that when you go to the shopping page, if the new things aren't up yet, 
keep refreshing because it won't refresh on its own. Just keep refreshing or just make sure it's noon and then go to the shopping page. All the new stuff will be at the top. So the email is very important because that's how you know it's coming up and that's how you know that you want to make sure and be there for that and you don't want to miss it. So I know there's a lot going on, but I just want to tell you why that email is important and how you know, oh my gosh, there's so much in this week. How could I ever remember? Don't bother. Don't worry your pretty little head about it. We got it. Um, just subscribe to the email and you're going to be good. Okay. So I got the uh, cross. I got the ring. Oh, wait for it because this is fabulous. Oh my gosh. How much do I love this bag? This is such a fabulous summer tote. We have it in two colors. It's a woven tote and it has this gorgeous Lorex in it. Now it has these handles so I can just put it over my, my arm and carry it this way or I can't put it over my shoulder this way or it has these long handles and I can put it over my shoulder this way. Isn't that gorgeous? It actually has the full zip at the top, so it's nice and secure, and inside is one nice slip pocket. So, I love having a new bag for summer, and it looks like summer, but it's not too casual, and it doesn't look like, oh, I just got back from the beach in my flip-flops. It looks like I was in Saint-Tropez, and I saw this amazing bag, and I said to myself, what's a couple grand? I'm just gonna go ahead and get it. Crazy me, right? That's kind of what it looks like. now. Would I really spend a couple grand in a bag? I probably wouldn't, um, but I know a lot of people do, and I just like to maybe look like I did. So I love this bag. It's this beautiful, soft almond wheat color, loving. Or wait, I have more. But wait, there's more. This gorgeous gray, isn't that stunning? So this is gray with the silver Lorex. And this is gonna be a beautiful, soft, loving, um, kind of almond beige with the silver. Loving them both, cannot get enough of them, think they are the most beautiful things ever. Super lightweight, by the way, that's another great thing, super lightweight. I think we should almost call them weightless bags. Technically they weigh a few ounces, I don't know, um, but they're good. So. I love a good summer bag. I love a summer bag that says summer and elegance and everything else. So loving that bag. Now I'm behind, so now I have to hurry. Wait, we also have... Just so you know, they've been talking about this next product nonstop because you're wearing it and it shines so much. Julie Shane made a comment. This necklace she's wearing is sparkling and mesmerizing me, dancing around and teasing my wallet. Oh, I love it. That's Christmas, Julie. That's Christmas, Julie. <laughs> All right, so this necklace is a must-have, and it's going to be two different necklaces for you to choose from. Number one, look at the beautiful stars. Oh, I feel like I should be doing the dance of the seven veils. So here's the stars, yellow, white, and rose, loving. Here's the hearts, yellow, white, and rose, but I'm wearing the white. Um, loving them both. Cannot get enough of them. Want to let you know that the stars are going to be 16 inches with the four inch extender, right, David? And the hearts are going to be 16 inches with the two inch extender. I love wearing one of each. I love layering them. I love putting them with other things. These are the perfect summer. Oh my gosh, look, necklaces. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Can't get enough of them. I think love the them. timing is perfect for these because of going into summer, that fringe look. It's so hot right now. It's great for layering. It sparkles, um, and it's just, I love the combination of wearing the stars with the hearts even. I do too. In fact, I'm gonna try to put this star on quickly because I have a heart. On, I have, I'm wearing the heart necklace. I mean, of course I have a heart, you know, but um, some people think I don't, but it's not true. And I will say that we are actually calling these tumbling necklaces because yes. you don't expect that it's not, it's not a malfunction or anything like that. Is they don't all hang perfectly. They move around. That's what they're supposed to do. Wait, I'm gonna tip this forward. Hold on. I'm moving David away so you can just see. Oh, pretty. Look, there's the stars. There's the heart. Aren't they pretty? Loving. So now I have three necklaces on. <laughs> Why? Because I can, but I love them. So 
layer, layer, layer. You're gonna love these with your other necklaces. You're gonna love them together. You're gonna love one at a time. Yellow, white, and rose, stars or hearts. Get one of each, absolutely gorgeous, um, absolutely fabulous. So I know you're gonna love those. Those are beautiful. Oh, and then has anybody noticed these earrings? Are they gorgeous? These are the perfect little earrings. So this is what we call, um, they call it broken glass only because it looks like all these beautiful kind of different shapes of glass put together. But look how beautiful these are. So we're gonna have these in a number of different colors. Um, it's going to be, I love these by the way. These are done by that factory that we love where everything is done by hand. And which colors do we have these in again, David? I'm, I think three colors, right? Correct. Yeah. Um, so this is gonna be your choice of rose, white, or yellow. Here they are in the white. I'm wearing them in the yellow. You can also get them in the rose, but they just show up. They're so comfortable. Oh, you know what's great about this? When you're putting your mask on and off, you do not even notice these, right? Never get in the way. Um, the other day I posted a picture with the ear cuff, remember the ear cuff that was gone so quickly? I was wearing this little earring with it and it was perfect. And I was wearing a mask because I was running a, a few different places and I didn't want to put my mask off and on. Um, but in putting the mask off, off and on, these earrings were flawless. Never got in the way, absolutely perfect. Loving, loving, loving. Oh my gosh, it's the perfect little ear. And they just show up, they're like, they jump out and grab you. They're like, wow. So, loving. Mm -hmm. I think these are so stunning. I love. love all of these huggies that are really popular right now because I think with the mask, but also just yep. the simple look, you can wear them anywhere. You put them on, you don't have to worry about them. No fuss. Yep. Just wear them around. They are absolutely, absolutely perfect. Okay. I'm going to go a little quickly because I am just a smidge behind, um, but that's okay. So number one, look at these peonies. How amazing are these? Let me take this one I want to show you. So it's your choice of three different colors. We have it in a peach. This is, you know, this is a peach and it has pink in the center. Isn't that pretty? Then we have it in this lighter pink, which is kind of a medium pink. And then we have it in this darker pink. So I love all three colors and it's going to be your choice of colors, but this is real touch. This is big and beautiful and gorgeous. Look at all the leaves. Look at the height of the stem. I mean, oh my gosh. I love peonies, but peonies last for literally two minutes. This is going to be stunning and beautiful and large and gorgeous and amazing. And I just think it's so pretty. Aren't they pretty? So I love those. Um, we also have, oh, I'm just gonna go out of order here. This beautiful ginger jar. Look at this big, beautiful blue and white ginger jar. The blue and white porcelain and ceramic is something that came um, from you know, one of the, the Chinese dynasties centuries ago, really inspired it. Uh, it was something that the world too was known for in that part of the world. Then it became a huge trend with the called chinoiserie, which is a beautiful ancient Asian influence in the art with the European line and function. That's exactly what this is, but it's that darker blue and white, which is really, really striking. So this comes with the lid, so you can just put it on and you know, just enjoy it as it is, take the lid off, put some beautiful flowers in there, you're good. I love that. We also have this beautiful candle lantern back. Remember this one? What did I do with the other one? Oh, here it is. Um, so I put one of our candles with the glass around it in the small and one of our regular flameless candles in the large, just to show you that both kinds of candles are gonna be gorgeous in there. This is a large or a small, absolutely beautiful. I love these pagoda style with the bamboo. You can hang them, you can set them. They have little feet. They're so beautiful and so elegant. Everyone has been asking us to get these back. We just now got them back for this week and they are gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, 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 oh. Then wait, look at these. <laughs> Could anything be more romantic and beautiful? Don't these just look like Pride and Prejudice or Sense and Sensibility or why, Mr. Darcy, did you bring me peonies? 
I know, that's what it looks like. So this is beautiful. You're gonna get two bunches in the peach or two bunches in the pink, which is what I have right here. And these are gonna be different sizes. Some of them are more closed. Some of them are more open. Aren't they beautiful? And look at how the peach have some pink tipping. Don't those look like a, like a European still life? So gorgeous, I love those. And we have this beautiful, beautiful blue vase. Remember we had the larger blue vase in this exact fin same finish and it was gone in a heartbeat. Here's the smaller one and oh my gosh, is it beautiful. It's that perfect blue. I could, it just, I, I cannot imagine any decor this wouldn't be perfect with and it's that perfect little pop of color. So blue vase, definitely don't miss out on that one. Oh, speaking of which, uh, while I move this, you can see this beautiful mirror. Isn't that gorgeous? This is a mirror that looks like it should be in a French garden. It looks like it's been in a beautiful chateau in France or a villa in Northern Italy for a hundred years, right? That's what it looks like. It's beautiful. It's an intentionally distressed, crackled, whitewashed, neutral background, which I love. And then a beautiful, ornate, dimensional frame with an antiqued kind of mercury effect in the mirror. I mean, this is something, I love it just leaning or hanging. And I think sometimes we're going, oh, I'd love to get things I don't have anywhere to hang it. You don't have to hang it. You can just lean it. Look how beautiful it is just leaning somewhere. So don't think you have to hang it. I love it both ways. And I love that it adds a little bit of mirror, but it's not too much. You know how that goes? So this is coming up. Now we did some, we did one um, like this before and oh my gosh, was it popular. I tried to keep it and I had to give it up. I was so bummed I kept as long as I could. Um, so I'm so glad we have this back for you because I think it's stunning. And I think right now, is the time we wanna start making the inside feel like spring. And to me, that feels like a French garden somehow. I don't know why, but it just does feel like a French garden. I think it's stunning, stunning, stunning. Now, gold and white. So we have the gold in the pagodas. We have the gold and white in this beautiful little decorative treasure box in this white ceramic with gold trim around the top and around the bottom. And I love the bust for the handle. Hello. So you can tie things in there, organize things in there, just use it as you want. Let me just tell you that when you get it, the handle is gonna be screwed in upside down because they're gonna ship it like this. Super easy, unscrew it, just put it on top. Super easy, just to let you know, you go, oh my gosh, it's upside down. It's supposed to be, you just unscrew it, you're gonna, you're gonna start, just, you know, let me know. Anyway, I love this, isn't that pretty? And in so many cases, it's those little finishing touches that really make an arrangement, right? Don't you think? Otherwise, it just kind of looks like things you left there. No, it's an arrangement. I have the finishing touches. I did that on purpose. <laughs> so I love that. Now, speaking of gold and white, these bookends. I love these so much. This is kind of like a my favorites um, week because I love these bookends so much that I kept one set before and I have them on the nightstand on the left-hand side of the bed in the master bedroom because I think they're so beautiful. And I love the gold and the two little birds. Isn't that the sweetest? This is what elevates everything, but it's not too fussy. So I love this. This could be as formal as Tova's beautiful house. Um, it could be as formal as my master bedroom, which is a little formal. Um, and it's beautiful just in a living room. Like it doesn't have to be formal. It just lifts everything in a really sophisticated way. So I love that set of bookends. So you're gonna get both, of course, cause you get a set. And then the ultimate book boxes. I, I don't mean to preach to you, but I'm gonna preach to you for a second. You need to get these book boxes. I use these every single day. I use them every single week. I use them to organize what's behind me in every single cooking chat. I use them here on the mantle to give different heights and elevations. Like I wanted this candle holder to sit a little higher than the candle here, so I put a book box under it. I wanted this candle holder to sit higher, so I put a book box under it, right? I mean, these you can use inside the bookends and they're beautiful, but as the perfect way to elevate things. Now, if you already have some of these, you probably want more, because I know I do, which is why we got more, because I kept saying to Katie, do we have any more of those? She was like, quit asking me. Um, because I just hoard them. I hoard them because I love them so much. So we finally got them back for you. It's a set of two. Please get them quickly when they come. You will love them. You will love them, love them. So those are coming up. Then, speaking of things that are my favorites, these beautiful distressed candles. Remember these? The grand, beautiful, 
French garden looking distressed candle holders. Loving these. It's a beautiful kind of taupey metal background. It's really aged. And then it has layers of this light kind of like a light taupe with the gold. Isn't that pretty? Mm, I know. And I love the fact that it has a large platform on top. So it works with really big candles and there's no um, spike in the center. So it works with your flameless candles too. But everyone's been screaming for these. The very first time we offered these, I kept a set and I will not give them up. And we finally got them back for you. So kind of a, a greatest hits on that, on that corner because I love like so many things that we're bringing back for you this week. And I know that you will absolutely, absolutely love them. Now, let me, oh, very quickly, this beautiful vase, and let me just show you what a difference it makes. So here, these beautiful peonies are gonna be more of a classic look, right? Very classic, very elegant. They could go farmhouse chic, shabby chic, but one of the big trends we're seeing is kind of mixing in a little bit of contemporary. And if you're saying, yeah, but I don't really do contemporary. I don't know, right? I think and sometimes you're a little bit, oh, um, how do I bring in a little contemporary and make it look fresh without doing too much? This vase is perfect. So look at this. It's white with beautiful gold detail. I love the gold on the inside. And if I take those same flowers, and I put them in this vase, it's a completely different look. How great is that? Now, I took the beautiful peonies that are very romantic, very Pride and Prejudice, and I put them in this really beautiful, classic, a little bit hint of contemporary. So it's a nice balance, which I think is fabulous. And these are the kinds of things that I love putting together because it adds, you know, you want that blending. You don't want everything to look the same. My little sister is very good at this. Whenever she decorates, she really brings a lot of different styles together and it makes it this beautiful, eclectic mix. That's what this is. So love those. Um, I'm going to put that right back in there. You get the idea, but I love, there you go. Um, the blue, the, the, the white and gold on the vase. I think that one is gorgeous. Oh, you know what else we have that is absolutely fabulous is this clock. Now this clock is actually a mirror and it's going to have the frame in front with three, six, nine, and 12 in Roman numerals and then the hands at the center. So it reminds me of the Tiffany bangle, you know, that one with the, the kind of Roman numeral around it. Um, it is an actual working clock. You just put a double A AA battery in back and you're gonna be good. And it has this beautiful black stand. So whenever we offer clocks, they're always popular. Whenever we offer mirrors, they're always popular. So you know how popular a mirror clock is going to be, right? This could be in a gentleman's study. This could be on a ladies' nightstand. This could be anywhere in between, but it's a beautiful working clock and it is a mirror. And so you know it's gonna go with everything because it simply reflects the room that it's in. So that is going to be a fabulous, fabulous way to go. I just think it's very, very, very elegant on that one. I know we have so many gorgeous things. Oh, we also have this beautiful recycled glass. Now we have two beautiful recycled glass pieces. When you see these recycled glass pieces, these are pieces that are European glass. They are recycled. They are um, done in Spain and they're just beautiful. They're, the quality is phenomenal. The aesthetic is very European. This one is clear. I'm gonna show you with colors in a bit. Then we have these beautiful little roses in all different colors. Look how pretty. They're gonna have more contrast here. This one is gonna be a little bit deeper, a little lighter, lighter yet. You have three different colors in these beautiful, beautiful baby roses and I love those. Love, love, love. Um, so these are the pieces that, again, there's nothing more beautiful than flowers. And live flowers are beautiful, but they're gone in a few days. These are so good, you can't even tell the difference. It's amazing. You're thinking, should I water those? I don't know, right? That's how good they are. So definitely, definitely stay on the line for those when we get them. Then this is our other recycled glass done in Spain, and you'll see it says right here, 100% recycled glass. Sorry, that little piece of hair is bothering me. And this uh, is a beautiful, beautiful blush glass. But one of the things I wanna show you is, it's really good quality. 
you know? You want to invest in things that are gonna be really good quality because you wanna have them for a long time. You know, I like to get things I love and take care of them and have them for a long time. My water glasses, the ones that I have left, I've had for 25 years. I, I love them, I take care of them. Um, so this is that beautiful high quality. I love the blush glass. It's the perfect way to bring color into a room, but it's so neutral and warm. It just, everything goes with it. It's so, so pretty. It's that nice longer. I love the fact that it's smaller at the throat, larger in the body, so your flowers are beautiful. Love that one. Now. How amazing are these? These are Austin roses in three different colors. Look how gorgeous. Look at how airy and lacy and delicate and, and just amazingly complex and, and just dense these are. Aren't they gorgeous? We had these for you once before and they were gone in a heartbeat. It's taken us forever to get them back for you. And then we have these beautiful, beautiful, large fern kind of branches that are so perfect with it. I love the roses on their own. I love them with the large branches. I think they're all so beautiful, but look how gorgeous. Doesn't that look like someone just, like you just won an award? You know what that reminds me of? Do you remember um, the movie, Phantom of the Opera? Um, the movie Phantom of the Opera was beautifully, beautifully shot. And they were showing her dressing room after her performance and it was just filled with roses. That's what this reminds me of. I think it's so beautiful. So once again, if you wanna win a bet, then bet your friends that these aren't real and they'll bet you that they are. So those are Austin roses and those are coming up this week as well. Loving those. I am gonna be getting back today because we do have more jewelry. So David, don't go to sleep on me. Um, then, Oh, these are so pretty. This is gonna be a beautiful little bouquet of daisies, the friendliest flower. And then we have a beautiful little bouquet of mixed flowers and roses. And they come in this beautiful little paper. Isn't that sweet? I just think these are the best little hostess gift. Like I went over, um, to Tova's the other night and I hadn't seen her in uh, forever. It was so good to see her and Barb. And I wanted to bring something and this would have been perfect just to show up with, hi, thank you so much. Thank you for having me over. Great to see you, right? Or you can take it out of the paper and put them in a vase and do whatever you want. But look how beautiful they are. Aren't they sweet? And don't forget that Mother's Day is coming up and I always think that roses are always a great idea for Mother's Day. Especially, I have to say, I love getting your mom um, flowers that don't fade because then you know if you get your mom flowers then whenever she looks at them she's gonna think of you and I think that's really really sweet but if you get her flowers that never go away then she gets to look at them every day for years and years and years and think of you and I think that's wonderful so those are also coming up this week all right now so many things so little time I might be forgetting something, just to let you know. Um, oh, diamonds. It's kind of a trend this week, actually. Um, but this beautiful necklace says love, and your choice of blue or champagne diamonds, and that is one of the prettiest, prettiest necklaces. And I love the fact that, once again, we're offering real diamonds. This is very special. I love the design, how the love is not just this um, traditional written love. They really have, we call, we're calling it kind of graphic the way it's done, mm -hmm. but it's very special. And it's these micropave diamonds and a choice of blue diamonds or champagne diamonds. Um, and it's um, a half a carat of each in there. And it's, it's just so, the workmanship and craftsmanship is just so unbelievable on this, Lisa. Beautiful. Um, I'm so excited. The design is so beautiful and it's not, you know, it's not too big. It's not too small. I think it's the perfect size to wear. Um, it's just something you'll, you'll wear and never take off. Yeah. Just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, and again, I love that we're just offering you such a huge range of things, you know, even in, in one week. So and there's, a, there's 114 diamonds in each of those necklaces. Wow. That's a lot. 
Mm -hmm. That's stunning. So I love this. Again, I think this would be a perfect Mother's Day gift. I think this would be a perfect birthday, anniversary gift for yourself. We've been talking a lot about jewelry with meaning, jewelry with the message, um, jewelry that's good for the soul as well as beautiful and something that is done in real diamonds and it says love. I just think it's really, really beautifully, beautifully done. So love that necklace. Just stunning. Loving that one. So that one is so pretty. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Oh, these earrings. Oh my gosh. These earrings are so beautiful on. So this is a brand new design in this dangling bar earring. It has this gorgeous diamond cutting on the bottom. Here it is in the yellow. We're also going to have it in the rose, the white, and the black. But this pair of earrings, David, whenever I put these on, I cannot believe how they catch the light, but they're so delicate in their look. They're so flattering. You know, they're based on one of our best sellers of any earring we've ever offered, mm -hmm. uh, which is the polished version. And it's from our fav favorite factory uh, for earrings, Blue Oro, mm -hmm. who is so innovative and creative. But this is, it's very flattering. It's, it's very feminine. Um, I love elongation in earrings because it accentuates oh. so, a, a woman's facial features. And these are just beautiful. You can see them on when you wear them. Everything about them is just stunning. I'm rushing you because I forgot I have to get to one important thing. This beautiful large Labradorite with green onyx. Oh my gosh, how stunning is that? That is also coming up this week. And by the way, the cutest hoodie ever with the stars and it's so soft. Oh my gosh, it's like a baby blanket. I love that. Now, very, very quickly, here's what's amazing. We have something coming up this week that is brand new in our beauty line, and this is what it is. It's called the Plump and Pout Lip Gloss, but it's a treatment, okay? So this is something you can use at night. This is something you can use during the day. This is something that's going to approach plumping the look of your lips and, and a many, many layered approach from many, many different ways. It's gonna help plump from the inside as far as the look, and it's gonna help your lips look beautiful and smooth and full and amazing from the outside in. So. This is what it's gonna do. It's gonna boost hydration and collagen synthesis. So it's gonna give you smoother, fuller, younger looking lips. How amazing is that? And this is gonna be something that does it in a whole bunch of different ways. So a lot of things approach it from one point of view. This approaches it from a number of points of view. Now it's a beautiful applicator, but I'm just gonna put it on my lips so I don't get any color. Look how gorgeous. So it's a gorgeous, clear gloss, but here's the thing. This has a specific botanical extract um, from a, um, one, one variation of a cork tree that it really, really works from the inside out. It also has two different kinds of peptides to work from the inside out. It also is something that has sunflower seed oil that is super emollient and hydrating, really puts moisture in your lips. And then it has sodium hyaluronic. Sodium hyaluronate is actually something that's going to bring moisture in from the air and help lock moisture in your lips. So it's working with botanicals, it's working with peptides, it's working with intensive emollients and moisturizers. It's working with locking moisture in. And what it does is it helps give your lips that beautiful, full, gorgeous, smooth look that you love. Here's the great thing, at night, after you've done your sugar scrub, go with this over it, go to bed with your lips looking amazing, wake up with them looking even more amazing. They're gonna look more plump and fabulous. If you wanna wear it over whatever color you want during the day, feel free. If you wanna wear it with no color during the day, feel free. But we all know that lips are one of our biggest challenges as time goes by. This is the most multi-pronged approach I have ever seen. I love that it's not one ingredient, it is every way to make your lips look plump and beautiful. Oh, and by the way, it feels great. It actually tastes great. <laughs> and there's gonna be a whole bunch of things that aren't in it. So I'm gonna read what's not in it very quickly. It is paraben-free, silicone-free, gluten-free, sulfate-free, phthalate-free, GMO-free, and vegan, and it's made in the USA. Why is that important? Because it is very, very high quality standards very high quality standards. I have looked at a lot of different ways to help make your lips look plump and beautiful. This is the best one. I love it. So 
This is the big one too. That sugar lip scrub, awesome. That's step number one at night. Here's step number two, but don't forget to use this during the day too. Also, now I have some lip color on, so I just put it on with my finger because I didn't want to mess up the applicator. Beautiful applicator, very elegant, really applies beautifully. It smells good, it tastes good, it makes your lips look amazing. It is brand new and it is coming up this week. I say, oh my gosh, one of the things that makes every woman look and feel fabulous is when your lips look amazing, but it's one of the things that we start losing as time goes by, oh my gosh. It's coming up this week, don't go away, you are absolutely going to love it. Now, oh, wait. Huh? The blush Monaco bag? Everybody's been asking for it. Last night in the chat, somebody was asking for it. It's back this week. It's absolutely beautiful. This is made just for you, and it is gorgeous. Look at that hornback croco embossing. Wait, hear the leather. I'm kind of pushing it down to make it sound like, you know, that for you. Look at the beautiful embossing. Look at the dimension. Look at the tipping. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at how perfectly it's done on the side. Look how it has the feet. Look how it's gonna actually lock if you want it to with the padlock. Here's the key right underneath. You can close it. You can, I carry mine like this, completely up to you. But oh my gosh, is it beautiful. It comes with a long strap that attaches here and here and goes long shoulder or cross body. This is one of the most in-demand colors ever made in a Monaco and it is back this week. So, so many gorgeous things. So little time and wait. You thought I forgot that, didn't you, David? But I didn't. How gorgeous is this? So this is Ethiopian opal and then beautiful colored gems. Yeah, this is really beautiful. Um, it's one of my favorites and it's a special find again. I love the color combination of those tourmaline gemstones um, with that Ethiopian opal. This manufacturer has has the best quality of Ethiopian opal, and there are different qualities of it, but this shines so much, and I love it with the white zircon. It's really beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So that is coming up this week too. Now, I just want to remind you very quickly, emerald, diamonds, and 14 karat white gold. Oh, that's my alarm to do the post, but Kia is doing the post tonight, so I'm good with that, um, but I do have to go. Okay. Emeralds, diamonds, 14 karat white gold, Zambian emerald, diamonds, 14 karat white gold. This is going away right after the chat. Don't forget that coming up at 8 p.m., fancy yellow diamonds, fancy yellow diamonds, fabulous wrap sweater, so many gorgeous things, so little time. So thank you all so much for joining us. David, thank you so much. Thank you, and thank you, everyone. Have a great rest of your evening. Happy shopping in about two minutes, 8 p.m. And uh, we'll see you with fabulous treasures throughout the week. Bye.